at this time when you are calm sitting for a while and settle the mind experience a degree of peace at this time it's very good to share loving friendliness once again practicing loving friendliness is the basis of tranquility meditation because metta itself is the subject of tranquility meditation in the jhana practice we always we start with loving friendliness meditation so let us spend few minutes on sharing loving friendliness this time i am not going to recite a long passages or spend long time like the in the morning this is very short and yet most effective living friendliness discourse that buddha himself has delivered i'm going to recite it slowly please focus your mind on the meaning of what i recite and try to cultivate these thoughts let these thoughts sink into your subconscious mind and let them take effect gradually in the course of this meditation let me begin may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large middling short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another no despise anyone anywhere neither in anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate boundless loving friendliness above below and all around unobstructed without hate or resentment whether standing walking sitting or lying down whenever one is awake one should cultivate this loving friendliness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views virtuous and endowed with vision removing desires for sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb
with these thoughts let us also put away all other thoughts of greed clinging craving for various things whether it is one kind or another greed or clinging for beings or objects we have to put away all these past memories of greed future pondering over greedy things let's take this moment as the most precious moment in our life consider this as a sacred moment moment that we really find you have all spent a lot of time energy and even money to come here to spend this week devoting yourself to this wonderful practice to calm the mind calm the body make the mind peaceful and happy to gain concentration physical separation from very busy activities is one requirement and the cleansing the mind of all other mental impurities is another requirement for both tranquility meditation and vipassana meditation at this time as i mentioned this morning without getting into all kind of complicated ideas theories we begin with very simple procedure starting with focusing mind on the breathing as we normally do when we practice with prasanna meditation the difference is that here in this practice we exclusively pay attention to the sensation of breathing without taking any details into account <coughs> focus the mind on the breath so the breath becomes the primary object and as we keep paying attention to the breath without making any deliberate effort to change the breath we just pay total attention to note the breath as it is when we pay attention to the breath without taking details into account we naturally see the breath becoming subtler and subtler gross part of it disappearing only when the breath becomes subtle we become aware of it we cannot make it deliberately subtle it has to become subtle by itself we don't anticipate anything that follows the breathing the subtleness 
but we simply become aware of what is. If it is gross breath, just become aware of it. As it becomes subtle, we become aware of it. And keep paying attention to that subtle breath. Then the subtle breath becomes the secondary object. The gross part disappears. Subtle part remains as a memory of breath. This technically is called counterpart sign. We would not worry about these technical terms, but just become aware of the shift or the intensity of the breath, changing it from gross state to subtle state. Only when the subtle state arises, we become aware of it and stay with it. Until naturally the breath becomes very comfortable, relaxed, body is relaxed, mind is relaxed. and we experience a very high degree of confidence in ourselves, confidence in the system, confidence in the practice, confidence in the step that we follow. Each step leads to the next When confidence becomes strong, then the spark of rapture or joy begins to start, begins to appear. It may start with tingling in a very subtle way. You may notice it increasing gradually in intensity and just become aware of it. We don't have to make it, uh, we, don't, we don't have to force it to happen without forcing as joy or rapture arises, we become aware of it. If we follow the steps very sincerely, without trying to rationalize, conceptualize, philosophize, just follow the steps, then naturally rapture or joy increases to the degree of happiness, We do not artificially create happiness. We cannot do that. It has to arise when the preceding steps are mature. When the preceding steps are strong, settled, and the mind becomes calm and peaceful. This happiness grows, increases. When the happiness matures, that the spark of light representing the luminosity of our mind will appear. That spark is a very tiny little strong 
light if that light happens to be a large covering large area then it may not be a sign of concentration it would become an impediment therefore we have to transcend that large light covering large area but if the light arises as a small spark of light bright light that moment you gain concentration and then you may stay in that state until it disappears it also disappears then start again from that subtle memory of breath once you lose it you don't lose everything you lose the main concentration factors therefore you can start it all over from the point where you experienced subtle breath as a secondary object and since this happened with your knowledge with your awareness you can remember the steps that you that your mind followed and therefore you can repeat the steps again when the subtle state subtle state of breath appears focus mind on it as before then again the body mind relax your joy arises happiness arises you gain concentration if you simply stay with this few simple states steps then the practice become easier if you get involved in all kind of theories ideas then gaining this particular state of concentration would become very difficult therefore for practical reasons i make this suggestions for you to remember you cannot force any of these things cannot pretend that they are there they have to grow naturally so the first step is the living friendly thought then the breath then breath becomes subtle then the body mind relax then you gain confidence which leads to joy that leads to happiness and which leads to concentration to experiment yourself and we stay with this simple instructions <coughs> 